Hello everyone, in this video we can learn about persistent storage in Azure Container Apps. Now let me show you what we are going to build in this video. We are going to deploy two applications, Write App and Reader App. Let me show you the applications. As you can see with this application we can upload files and this is the reader application. With this we can read the files. These are two separate container apps and the files that are uploaded from this application will be written to this storage account file share. And let me show you the file share I have created as well. All right. Now let me upload a file to this application. Let me upload this file. Now if I refresh the reader application and this is a separate application as I said we can see the file and the file is stored in Azure File Share. And I'm using Docker Volumes to write this file to Azure File Shares. Now that you saw what we're going to build today, let's go ahead and understand how this works and build this from the scratch. But before going forward, let's remind ourselves what Docker Volumes are. Docker Volumes are file systems mounted on the Docker containers to preserve data generated by the running container. So basically, you have this mapping from the container to the host. The files that you write to the container will be actually stored in the file system of the host. I hope you have an understanding of how Docker volumes work, at least a rough understanding. I think that will be enough for us to move forward. Azure Container Apps support three mechanisms for you to write files to the container. These are the options that they have mentioned in the documentation. Container file system, actually they don't even have to mention this, but we have container file system and temporary storage and Azure files. Now the container file system is the actual container. The files that you write to it will be gone when the container restarts or it scales in or scales out. The new instances will not have the files that you wrote to the container. And this is not a good option. There are no pretty much a use case for this way of persisting files. But the second option that is a little better because two containers that are running in the same replica can have access to the files. If I go into the more detailed section here and this is similar to Kubernetes. Basically when you have multiple containers in a pod, in this case a replica, these containers can share the file storage space. And this is used when you have sidecar containers. When these containers are tightly coupled, you're deploying these containers in a single replica or a pod and these containers can use the files. But when the replica is recreated, the files are gone. And we have the third option and this is the best option for permanent storage. And this is mainly because Azure Container Apps is a managed service. It's a platform as a service type of a service. And Azure Files is built on top of Azure Storage. Now let me go into the uh, my storage account that I've shown you earlier. And this is the storage account and if I scroll down, we have file shares and I have created this file share. As you can see, this is built on top of Azure Storage, kind of a managed version of Azure Storage. To show you one more interesting thing, Azure File Shares, you can directly mount them in your computer if you want. You can just, you know, click connect button here and you can just select the drive letter and you can just copy the script here and run this on your computer. This space will be mounted in your computer. I'm explaining this to show you that this is a fully managed storage service on Azure, just like Kinder Wraps. All right, now that we understand the three options that we have, we can write directly into the container file system. And this is, there's pretty much no use case here. And we can write to the temporary storage so that other containers that you have in the same replica can share the files like the sidecars. For example, one container might be writing log files, other container might be processing them or uploading them to another service. And the best option for storing files is Azure File Shares. Now with this understanding, let me go ahead and show you how you can build applications utilizing Azure File Shares as storage. As you can see, I'm in my Visual Studio and I have two applications here. These are the applications that I have shown you earlier. And these are simple ASP.NET MVC .NET 6 applications. And we have the uh, the right application. Let me show you what this application does. As you can see, it receives the file from the front end and it just writes it to the container directory. And if I go into read application, it does the, uh, the reading part. It just lists the files and displays on the screen. Now, if I go into the Docker file here, I'm creating the directory app slash images and I'm setting the permissions as well so that my application can write to it. 
Now let me build these two containers and push them to Docker Hub. For that, I have created a script. Now this folder contains all the apps or scripts I'm using in this video. You can find them in the description down below if you want to follow along, if you want to try this out yourself. Now if I go into source and storage mounts folder, this is the folder that contains the two apps that I've shown you earlier. And I have this script here to build these two Docker images and push them to my Docker Hub repository. And now let me run this script here. All right, as you can see, the images are getting built. That is done now. And now let me show you how to configure the app from the scratch. As you can see here, I have a resource group and let me create the storage account. All right, I have added this name here and the region, I'm gonna keep this as it is and standard and locally redundant is good enough. And then I'm gonna just create this all right, as you can see, the storage account is in place. Now let me go to the resource and here we have file shares. Let me create a new file share. I'm gonna call it the file share and the tier and I'm gonna create it. Now we have the storage account and the file share in place. Let's deploy the container app. Now let me switch to VS Code. In this series of videos, we've been using the UI, I mean the portal UI, ARM templates and Azure CLI to create container apps. So we are familiar with all these methods. Now in this video, we're going to deploy the container app using an ARM template. Now this is the, um, the template that we're going to use and you can find this in the description down below. And if I go into ARM template outline, as you can see, it's nothing, uh, nothing fancy. We have few resources and those resources are a managed environment. And this is the container apps environment. And we have two container apps, the write application and the reader application. Now let me show you how you can configure the file share that we have created here as a storage mount for our container apps. If I go into the container apps environment, and this is the resource that represents the container apps environment. For this, we need to add a new resource that links this managed environment to the Azure storage. For this, we need to introduce a new resource into this resource. Now let me expand this and let me paste the resource. All right. As you can see, the type is storages and the name of this is my Azure files. And this is directly from the documentation. And let me show you how you can modify this. So this service here that we have just added, this resource here, this depends on the parent resource. Now let me link that parent resource as in this depends on a section. Now we have to input the account name and account key and the share name. I have added the account name and let me go into the Azure portal and go into access keys and get the primary access key here. Now let me paste that and the share name this is the name of the file share that we have created. All right, I have added all the information that is required for this resource. Now let's configure the volumes. And for that, we need to go to the container app. Now let me scroll down a bit. And here we have the, uh, the container section and scale. And we need to add volumes here. I have added a volume and the type is Azure file. As you can see, we have two options here. We have empty DIR and Azure file. We're going with Azure files here. And storage name is the name that we have added to this resource, as you can see in the container apps environment. Now let me go back to the image and we have configured the volumes and we have to mount the volume in the container now. For that, we need to add volume mounts in the container. As you can see, we can mount multiple volumes like this and we need to provide the mount path and the volume name. The mount path is actually wrong. We need to change this to app slash images and this is the directory that our applications are writing to and if we go into the the applications that we have written this is the name of the directory. This results to app and this is images so I have added that and since we have two container apps, the writer and the reader, I need to add the same thing to read application as well. Now let me copy volumes here and let me add this to reader application and I'm going to add the same volume mounts to the read application as well. Obviously you might have noticed that I have created this storage account using the Azure portal and I have updated the uh, this ARM template here 
and I have hard coded these values as you can see and this is not the right way to do this. I'm doing this actually to show you how to configure this. If I go into this file and you can find this in the description as well and this contains the proper configuration as you can see this file creates the storage account and creates the file share and it does the mapping of the storage account to the container app using right ARM template constructs. All right, now let me close this and let's deploy this and see how this works. Now let me go into this deployment script. As you can see, I'm creating the resource group here and I've already done this and let's deploy this template demo JSON. I'm gonna press F8. All right, as you can see, the deployment is complete now. Now let me go into Azure portal and as you can see, we have the reader application and write application. And now let me go into writer app as you can see, we have the application URL. Let me click on it. Oh, right, the application seems to be working. Let me upload this file here. All oh, right, and if we go into the reader application and let me click on it, as you can see here, we can read the files from the reader application. And now, if I go into the storage account and file shares, into the file share, as you can see, we have the image that we have uploaded in the file share. All right, now this is the end of this video. In this video, I want to remind you what Docker volumes are and the options that we have when it comes to storing files with Azure Container Apps. And I've shown you how to configure Azure files as a persistent storage for your container apps. If you have further questions or comments, please let me know down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today. I will see you with another video like this soon and thanks for watching.